Hi everybody, this is Scott Weinkiewicz. I am in the process of editing some photos for a client. And I want to show you what I did um, to help myself later on in post-processing to remove an outlet that was a distraction on the wall where I was photographing. Now I had no choice but to use the wall that we used. So what I did is I took a, a bright orange um, type piece of paper and taped it over the outlet. And what that allowed me to do is whenever I couldn't just remove it using the um, the spot removal tool in Lightroom, I bring it into Photoshop. So let's dive into Photoshop and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing and how that orange piece of paper really helps. So here we are in Lightroom. And you can see here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see here that I have the outlet right here and it's covered, it's a little uncovered, just a, just a hair. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, um, you know, the, the marquee tool here, the selection tool and just select it, hit delete, and then it's going to bring up this window here. Content aware is what I want to use to fill it in. And then it just re it re uh, erased the outlet completely, except for the outline. Then what I'm doing is I'm taking the spot healing, um, the healing brush, and then I'm not spot healing, just the healing brush. And I'm going to brush on that outline. That's not to be perfect because it is going to um, content aware what I want to remove. And then just clean it up a little bit. And what's really nice is this series of photos, there was 200 in this batch, this, this one collection. And um, out of the 200, there was only 18 that needed this, needed Photoshop. The rest of them um, were, were okay, that I can do it in Lightroom because their bodies were not covering the outlet enough that Lightroom couldn't handle it. So here we are and it's done. Now that photograph, I can hit save and it's back into Lightroom with that removed and then I can move on to the next one. I'll do it one more time so you can see what I mean. So I'm gonna, um, let's close this one right here. And I'm going to open another one from Lightroom which is on a different screen so you can't really see it but it's gonna pop up right here in a second. And here it is. Now I'm going to um, zoom in again. Let's go to that outlet, select it, delete, fill with content aware, grab the healing brush and then just brush it away and if I went too much on the uh, on the gi, I'll know right away, but it was actually fine. Photoshop is very good for this. I could have also used MacFun's um, Snap Heal Pro, but um, sometimes it's just easier to use Photoshop than another um, software. And then I'm done. Um, actually, I can clean it up a little bit more. You can see the, you can see the halo of it slightly. And sometimes I also need to um, use the cloning brush just to bring in some more texture. Yeah, the, the cloning tool just to bring I keep saying brush because <laughs> I use Lightroom more than Photoshop um, but it's good to go so that's how we do it if you have an outlet that you need to remove later on and then you're gonna have a lot of photos then uh, I highly recommend grabbing a very 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 bright piece of paper sort of like green think green screen what they use on TV and um, a lot of photographers use green screens think of it that way because if it's a color that's not gonna be in the photograph anywhere else then you can easily just select it, remove it, and then use Photoshop's um, content aware tools to remove that color. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped uh, you for the future and see you next time.